Hello and welcome back to Mod Source 2. In the, in the last episode, you would have seen me build the windmill in the background there. Since then, I've upgraded our base to look at a similar design to what we already had in the windmill. And hopefully it will give us a bit of room to play with some mods in the upcoming episodes. Of course, at some point we'll probably have to move out, but this should do for now. I thought in this episode, we'd do a bit of community building, sort out my tree farm, because I'm always looking for wood. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is, we're going to need to make ourselves a harvester. I'm not going down any weird route at the moment, I'm just going to start with the basic stuff. So we're going to need some plastic sheets, some shears, a machine frame, probably a lot more than what I currently got. Let me put my helmet back on. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll grab ourselves some iron, because we're going to need some iron. Uh, we also need some tin, which we should have in here somewhere as well. There's some tin. Um, what else do we need? Need some Inzar. Probably should make some Inzar up. Inzar is basically just smelting up. Uh, some iron, it looks like. Ferris. Oh, I've got Ferris. Ferris. Um, okay, so we're going to need that for the Inzar. Need some plastic sheets, which I don't know plastic for, we're going to need a machine frame which is some glass and a tin gear, we're going to need some gold and some iron, so we'll grab some gold, oh there's the other room, uh, gold, right that should give us everything we need, first thing we'll have to do there is turn off the auto eject from here, so that we don't just end up Setting stuff in there. So we're going to need some ferrous. There's a bit of ferrous in there. Probably not it. Pulverize. I should look at upgrading these. I did find out what was happening with my constant crashing. It does appear to be a problem on my graphics card along with the recording software I run um, and for some reason NEI which is odd if I had to turn off the regular expression support from NEI and so I can't do things like um, plant uh, because of course it doesn't have regular expression so I can't do an or search bit of a pain but at least it stops me crashing for now I don't think we need Gold. I think we need some tin though, so we'll grab some of that. Actually, we don't need some tin, what am I on about? We need some iron, so we'll crush a bit of that, not need too much. That's enough for one at least, so we'll go make that while we're waiting for the rest. Um, so if I remember correctly, it's two iron, one ferrous, makes us three in that. And we will need more of that, so let's just put, get that ready to go. And we will cook up our Inzar and grab out for the iron. Let's get in here and make another one of those. Bang, bang, bang. And put one of those in there. It should give us plenty for what we need. Go back here. Stick the Inzar into there. That should produce some Inzar blend. That's uh, some Inzar. Uh, which is Apparently hiding from me. And uh, there it is. Six, which is exactly how many we need, I believe. 
so then you need one, two, three, one, two, three. I do need some sticks. At least some oak wood, so that, that'll do for now. Funny thing is, we're running low on wood, and we're actually looking for wood. So, um, so we can make sticks quite easily at the minute, but we've got four. That's good, because we only need two per item. So, one, two, one, two. So there's our two invert axes, which we need for the sides. Two of those. Uh, we need a gold gear. Nice, easy recipe. I think it was just a one, wasn't it? No, two. Okay, cool. Two of those. We need a redstone reception coil, which takes redstone. Of course, it takes redstone. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. I have actually put quite a bit of lighting in here, but it's still quite dark when the shaders are on. So we'll go over here, um, grab some redstone, place it into here, so that gives us a reception coil, or not, uh, one, two, I'll make uh, two, the settings we can take later, because we'll need them for the planter as well. Um, we will need a machine frame, which requires a tin gear. Once again, grab two of those. Um, and then, oh, missing something from there. What are you missing? We are missing glass. Of course we're missing glass. Um, do I have any glass in here? Uh, quite a clear glass. Um, we will need eight glass. Stack that in there to make it the normal glass. Go into here, one harvester. We need the machine frame. Two of those. Perfect. We can now hopefully. Oh, we need some shears as well, don't we? So we need the shears. We need one set of shears. Um, and the plastic. Uh, did I have some plastic? Oh, I've got two plastic on me. Okay, not quite. Enough. There's another two. We have this plastic sheets. And now, no, can't make it. What am I missing? Plastic sheets, one, two. Shears, it's possibly not a stackable recipe because of the axes and the shears. Yep, one harvester. We also want to make a planter because the planter, of course, will make, will replant it once we've harvested it. So we need some plastic sheets again, we need some pistons. Um, and I need some cobble for those. I do have a nice collection of cobble, so we won't have a problem with that now. Uh, pistons. Oh dear. I need some wood. Uh, actually, you'd think by now I would know how to make a piston, and then I actually need, oh, there's another plank of cobble. Oh, I've only got two planks, okay, that's what the problem is. Um, do I have any more? Jungle planks, they should do. Okay. I only need two pistons. One, two. We also need 
copper gears, not even any copper. So I've got a collection of copper there. And we also have some copper gears. Doesn't auto take up the stuff that's there, so that's right that's on that. And we're gonna just two of those. Made that we've got one of those a flower pot got some bricks around somewhere I think that's all we need so let's grab bricks from the oh I only got one brick hmm that's why I've got some clay somewhere There we go. And this collection of clay. I knew we had some because, of course, I made that with the emergency engineering last time. Um, to make bricks, if I remember correctly, we have to actually split the clay up into bits, which will give us four per item. That and then we cook it up. And I probably should set this back so I don't get confused later on. This is about to none. That's about hopefully I got that right. And we only have three. Well, we only need three, so that was sorted. So we can take these out. Those out. One, two, three. One flower pot. Let's down a planter. Look at that. We have a planter. So that's that's it. That's our basic farm there. We will of course need some for my power. So I thought what we'll do for that is make an Ender IO one. Well, actually not. So not. Not an Ender IO, an Ender IO um, uh, alloy smelter. Uh, just because then I can cook up the items and reset them back through. Okay. Need some of those. Not quite as appealed on this one, of course. Plenty of capacity out. One this time. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we need our. Hmm, not sure what the is left. I know I made up a lot previously. Oh, yeah, the iron bars. Cool. That's exactly the amount, the amount we need, too. It's even better. those and then then our furnace which is a nice easy recipe I think it was three furnaces um, a cauldron oh, oh I ran out of iron mm, let's grab some more iron then Um, and I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Look at that. We've got an alloy smelter. And we will need some for my dynamo. I could actually wonder how hard, what, how much power these guys have got. I think it's the stealing generator. Uh, it doesn't really say. Too hard to make though, really. So, what are our dynamos like? Dynamo. Mm, the only thing these things require is water. Oh. Didn't know you could protect them. Um, so. 
no values. One, two. Get a redstone, a bit of copper, and a reception coil. And that's silver. Don't think I picked up any silver. Yeah, gonna require a lot of silver, hopefully. Silver down there, cool. Grab those, and then we will craft that up. Uh, we will also need some piping. Uh, let's have a look at basic. There's two options I could go down. One is the transfer nodes, they're pretty basic. Or I can go down the logistical pipes. Uh, logistical pipes does require a little more than that. Okay, so I don't have the machines for that currently, so let's go down the transfer pipe instead for now. I might upgrade it later on because they do have some advantages. Uh, transfer the pipe first. So we need the glass. Only thing I don't have there is the stone. Oops. Uh, let's go grab some stone. I'll just get sleepy again. Here. Uh, we need to make some slabs, which is pretty easy to make. Sometimes I wonder why I do not follow that. I know what the recipe is. Um, I don't have any more glass. I need at least two more glass. Because I think we're having an odd number. Let's have that. go into here, that gives us 8 transfer pipes, we will also, also need a transfer node, and we've got redstone, stone, chest, transfer pipe, ok I've got all that, mini chest. Running low on one, two, and this is why we're making a can't remember the second up here. Where did I see it? Where did it? Can't remember this one. Um, what do we got? No, not there. Got them. Thought we had them somewhere. Okay, so we'll go over here. We will be making a chest. Oh, here we do it. Oh, it's an oak wood here too. Huh? Uh, we'll use that. Make us a little chest. Then we can make a transfer node. Okay, so I think we've got everything we need. We might need a little bit of power to start things up, maybe. Uh, I'm just going to some coal. the power. Okay, so let's go find our... Oh, actually, we need one more thing. Rather critical thing. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Um, do I have it? Don't I see this thing? Oak saplings. Perfect. Okay. 
And I thought we would add it. Get it in here. And add it around where this rubber tree is. And find it. Oh, I, I for, did forget something, but we'll set that up first. In fact, I took a couple of things. Oh, maybe around here some might be a good place to have it. Just because it's a reasonably blank area. Yeah, it's pretty close to spawn. Go down over here, maybe. So that gives us our um, thing. I will need to place the planter. The first thing we'll do is place the opposite block. Place a block there with the planter on it. Next up. down our power source which will probably be best off here and then the water source down here and then there's another thing I forgot is actually the Smelter, which will be for getting the items in the coal. Now that probably up there is probably fine, and we will configure it to output all its items into there, so that we keep that full. I also did not think about powering up actually the rest of the items, so that wasn't very clever either. Oh, so, thing, so many things are missing. Um, we'll place now the harvester. Yes. Let's see if we get someone to sleep. Could someone sleep, please? While we're waiting for that, we'll put the harvester there because it's the next thing I have to put down. Um, we'll probably put the tree and saplings in there ready to go. What we'll do is we'll make them we'll guarantee those oak and then we can put other things in here later. Uh, we also do not want to consume the stack. We might even leave it one at least one in here so we don't um, Ensure we uh, to ensure we have the oak, we've got the oak there. Stack 
Wednesday's day break, cool. Um, so, we need a bit, so I need to get back to my base and pick up some bit of stuff we're missing. saying that I wanted to actually put a better entrance into my base, well I did, but you saw as I came out of it before. Still a little bit of a climb, but not as bad as it was. I'll just go over here, walk towards this quicksand. Okay. Go for a redstone, a pretty basic redstone. And what we were doing, we wanted a bucket to start with. One bucket, oh, we've got a bucket of water, even better. Uh, we also need, we will also need a transfer node for water. Liquids, which also requires a bucket and a redstone block, so we'll just grab a, another bucket. Sworn up at Tobo for just a little bit of these guys. Okay. Uh, there's gas in there. Uh, we go into the liquids and a block of redstone. I think we actually used all that redstone. Got some lapis. Lapa. Two lapis. Dump that in there. Um, and that gives us a liquid transfer node. We will need a world upgrade. World int. Which is a whole lot more lapis and an iron pick. Which comes down to needing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can grab a stick from that. Good. Had to be worried for a second there. So I'm just going to have to go get some more wood. Uh, iron. One iron pick. There we go, some metal. I need four lapis. And some iron. Oops. Oh, where have I got that? Nope. One, two, three, four. There, back. Oh. So it doesn't stack, but it also doesn't face it there, so that's not overly useful. So those go in the corners. Close those. Push the bar to heart shape there, and that guy there. That's our wood grade to keep the water in the world. Uh, what else do we need? For some power. What's involved in making a Power transfer node. Um, a QED. Hmm. Okay. Won't go down that path just yet. Let's try the metal pipes. All out of pipes apparently. I could also try the immersive engineering cabling. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Not too difficult to make, is it? So let's do that. So it's copper cable, I believe, was it? Copper? Yeah, okay, that's a fair bit of unsuitable. Another LV. So we need an LV wire connector. Oh, this is hard enough around here, I did. Okay, cool. Four of those, give us eight. Brilliant. Um, oh, I thought it did tell us what the cable was, but... It's 
steel cable coil. I forget what coil my name is. Coil? Uh, you know, copper wire coil. Oh, it's pretty easy. <coughs> Just need that stick. I believe we have a stick. We do. Got some copper around it. Cool. Um, and we also need. Well, I thought I just made them, but must have been thinking something else. Um, LV. Oh, I was getting ready to make them. That's right. So that goes in the middle. Take that in for now. Um, they're all low on inventory space at the moment, so. Maybe a bit helps. LV connectors. That gives us power. We've got the water. Oh, it's yes, all heat. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Okay, so there's our single bucket of water. And Bet you were thinking he's only taking one bucket of water with him. Let's respawn. Grab some water from over here. Boom. ourselves an infinite water source. I'm facing another block there. Now I need to place a, a liquid transfer node underneath that. Now I'm not entirely sure why you have to do it this way, but we do. We have to put under a block, break the block, which recreates luckily the infinite water source. Place a wood on production upgrade in there, which will then suck the water out. And now place it over there. Alrighty then. Um, now, I was going to work out where to put the plant at. The harvester. The harvester needs to be at the same level. So. If we place it up here. it up below that. Now I'll just indicate where I'm actually going with it. Place it there. And I have realised what the other one was I needed. But we can connect these up anyway. So that guy's connected. Place that there. Torch is on board. Cool. Place it there and there. Um, now, just because we are a knight, I am going to place a block there for my own protection. Um, also need to place a block or a cable in there and there. So that is going to hopefully take power from here and send it to both machines. No, what am I on about? So I'll do that. That is not what I wanted to do. Because we're not doing power that way at the moment. Yeah. 
there. That scared me. Was that purple? I need to place. Can I place there? I can. Can I place like that? I think I'm gonna be able to get away with messing with that. connect that up. One, two, oh it worked. <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay, we also need to place one there. Connect one, two. Now that's what I was expecting. Um, possibly work with that for now. Place that there. So we got power. And we could probably place coal on there to give us some power in here. And hopefully. No, that's not going to work. Because whilst that is facing the wrong direction. Okay, I need to go get my. And we also need, as you can get on this, we also need to upgrade, upgrade, get two upgrades um, to these little things here. So it's radius increase of three on all directions. So that's going to be six blocks. Probably not going to be that much. Ten upgrade. Is probably where we want to be. Let's go up iron anyway. Because I have plastic. Mm. Need some more plastic. Need some more plastic left, I know that. Uh, there's an iron upgrade. There's one here. Place that there. No, that's still not enough. Place that there. Iron, plastic, ah, I forget redstone and nothing. Now we need two, one for each machine. We also need some redstone. That fills this lot. Um, how many did, how many did we need? We needed Two per side, it looks like. So that's three, four, um, and gold nugget. We have gold nuggets, obviously. Okay, so we place the iron. So it's a red stone on both sides. One, two, two gold nuggets gets us two of those, and they don't stack. That does make things a little more difficult, but we must put that in there and come back to it later. Okie dokie. Starting the coach, right? The power going in there, we've got the stuff coming off it. I hate putting filters in that something else I probably should have bought as well. But we'll do this first. Um, so the first thing we need is we need to set up the we can direct that towards the Oh, that sounded interesting. I think it might have just done exactly what we need to do straight off. Um, the transformer actually needs to go on there. Uh, we need to 
Gut. Place of piece of dirt back over there as well. We don't need that. That's all covered off. Done. And I need to make a hook. Uh, I'm just using cable magic. So we'll put there, there, and there. So hopefully what will now happen is it's oh we need to go upgrade them. One upgrade. And oh that was a bit weird. Sort of be lag, place the other upgrade in here. And this will probably take quite a bit of power. going to place that one somewhere, I don't want to, I don't want to like stick them in there, there. Yep, got some seeds. Don't want to bring a lot of seeds, let's run it out. Bloody hell, look. Oh, so as you can see, it's planted the trees. That's a good start. This guy must be just out of range. It's fine because he's jungle wood anyway. Uh, what do we got over here? This guy. Oh. There he is. So he's obviously out of range as well. That's fine. Just down here again. Um, so. Oh. Yes. Uh, we need. Oh, I've run out of. I don't think I've run out of. So let me go make another one of those. Okay, so I have made some more transfer pipe because we need to put some transfer pipe into the into the alloy smelter. I also took the opportunity to make some filter pipe because we'll need to fil we need to filter in what actually goes into there. We can hit this to oh no, let's put the wrench there. So it doesn't connect to the one there. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna stick we'll put a little empty hand. Um and it's the black going down, we need to place in some wood, which actually means we need to have wood, doesn't it? First thing I do is I place down a chest, and I stick the chest there. Right, so that'll be let's go. We do have quite an oak, quite a bit of oak wood out here. hand to put in there so we'll place our oak wood into the slot which is there and then I'll place one of those in there and as you can see that then powered that we've got water going in there creating steam it's producing power power is going into oop, I don't need the power on that just it's kind of interesting that we can't connect that but okay um, that up there I don't think we'll be able to connect directly to that do we no 
and I'm not going to use my first time to try and get that. That's not complete yet. Yes. That should that should connect to there. That there will then connect to there. Cool. It's got power. Plant has power and the harvester also has power. So now we just wait for the trip for the harvester to kick in and start harvesting stuff. Which hmm it should be doing already. Harvest space the wrong way. Yes, let's turn that around. There we go. There's another problem with it spitting my stuff at the wrong place. Hmm, okay, so we're slightly closer. We're gonna need to move. Theory, we can maybe put that here and won't reconstruct it. No, because I just realised I can't do it. Okay, so in a sec, we need to put that there, and it has to be one off, but that's fine. Put that in here. Transfer node on to there. And we did that with the heat storm. Nice. So place it there, place the cable there. And then fill that hole back in. power. Yes it is. Okay, that's cool. Did I pick up any wood from there? No. Okay. I need to do a manual tree farm if I want it. Might need a lot. Although these, do, these tree farms do take quite a bit. this into put that into this put this in there and hopefully when that turns when the steam runway turns on we will hear So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it, I'm just going to hold the episode a little bit. I'm going to wait until we've got a bit of a backlog on charcoal and wood. And then make sure that it's working. And then we'll see how we're going at the time. Oh, the apple's in there too. So, back in a moment. Okay, so it looks like we're getting close to being backlog. We've got two left on here. So we've got a full backlog in here. We've got our um, charcoal here. We've got three stacks sitting in the smeltery, the steam dynamo is completely full of charcoal so that's going to be getting stuff up. So the question we have to ask now is if we go up, up to our chest which I've moved to up here just so it's easy to access and we'll upgrade this at some point to being a ender chest to make things easier. But you can see that we're now collecting wood into here. 
I have had to make some changes, obviously. One is moving the uh, chest. Another one is I'm to put a transfer node onto, or a liquid transfer node onto the harvester. Just to extract this, the sludge, because it does go a lot slower with sludge in it. Um, and that's just going into a trash can for fluids, because I'm not planning on doing anything with it just yet. I've tidied up down here, so it's a bit more nice to look at. Um, and I've moved the LBY connector from down here to just so it is a bit more flowed and things can connect off that one wire. Um, hopefully it looks a bit better. I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video or learnt anything from the video, please leave a like. If you want to be notified of future episodes, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye!